Hi everyone, I would like to share with you my solution to make your making your own a uh, metallic uh, wax or a <laughs> uh, gilding wax. I, as you know, I'm watching a lot of videos and a lot of them were uh, with they were using Inca gold or um, uh, metallic pigments, and we don't have it here. And I was really, I really wanted to do something uh, the same. Now, uh, at first, when I started doing it, I just used um, acrylic paint, heavy bodied acrylic paint. And if you use it uh, gently, you can uh, do the same. You can uh, work uh, on, on texture with it. And when I was um, in one of, of my trips to Europe, uh, to Vienna, I found in an art uh, shop this uh, kind of thing. Uh, the only thing that it says in English is that it's gilding wax. I didn't know if it will work or, or won't or how. And I bought it and since then I'm, I've used it a lot. You've seen me use it. Uh, on this uh, art journal page where I uh, picked uh, the texture that I've made here you also seen me use it on this altered uh, jar again picking uh, highlights on all the texture we've I've got here and another example this wasn't a recorded film but again I've picked all the texture on this box with the same gilding wax so I was so uh, excited about this product that I started to think how can I uh, have more um, colors, more metallic colors of the same thing. Now I've uh, come up with a solution, <laughs> but I'm not claiming to be at the same quality of this uh, kind of thing or Inca gold, but it's something that you can make at home and and um, use it so uh, I'm going to take this is some a uh, tin foil uh, dispensable thingy and I, I've started making a uh, melt uh, doing a uh, and experimenting and I've done it in my kitchen, but since I can't film in my, ki my kitchen, I don't have anything to hold the camera. I'm going to try and do it here. Uh, I've uh, done it in this box that I've picked from the cheap store. It's supposed to be for, all, for the days of the week for a uh, medicine, but uh, you can use whatever you want just uh, make sure it's something uh, durable for heat because when you pour it uh, in it would be hot uh, you can also try a, a, a ice cube trays uh, if you don't care that it it will have a lid on so ice cube uh, trays can also be a solution or any uh, small uh, tin cans like for uh, smelling tobacco or something chewing tobacco also can work so i've got this and the the two ingredients for making this a uh, a metallic wax is uh, oil pastels metallic oil pastels of course if you want to do uh, ones that are not metallic you go for it now uh, oil pastels i also uh, picked this in my cheap store these are like uh, like two dollars well equivalent to two dollars uh, here and so it's cheap and i've melted this with a uh, coconut oil so i'm going to demonstrate what i've done and i'll now I'll do this metallic, I don't know, it's magenta or something like that. So first of all, you peel uh, the paper from uh, your crayon. And my 
my advice is to cut it to little pieces so it won't take a whole lot of time to melt. putting it here and I'm taking a nice teaspoon of the coconut oil putting it here and I'm going to melt it with my heat tool that's what I have here <laughs> In, <laughs> so you please bear with me uh, with the noise that it's uh, going to make and a wooden skewer or anything that can be uh, to steer what you have here and I'm uh, going to turn on It's starting to melt. You need you need patience for this and uh, first I've done this uh, in my kitchen on my gas stove and it's very quick but you have to be careful be, and when it's melted uh, completely don't let it boil and just pour it and now and always uh, keep stirring uh, you don't want it like to burn or uh, so I'm going to keep at it and let's hope it will be quick because it does a lot of noise So it's going to take some uh, time, I will uh, get back when it's melted and I'll show you the next step. I'm back, so this is melted, look how beautiful it is melted and I'm going to just pour it here. Here we go. I can even uh, turn on uh, back again my heat tool and do like this. And it will make everything go down. So it doesn't really matter. Most of it is here. And now it needs to cool down before using it. Now I've prepared two... Uh, <laughs> Uh, pages with texture on them to uh, show you how this works this I can't uh, use yet because it's still hot and moving this aside I'm bringing in my dictionary that I've turned into a art journal and I've got here one page I just uh, done uh, I've taken a stencil and uh, wall compound that's what I use instead of a uh, modeling paste and I just made the texture and here I've 
uh, uh, wall compound and made some uh, texture with um, not a spatula, palette knife. And here I glued down a lace trim and here I've uh, glued the the same aluminium uh, adhesive tape that I showed you how to use on the uh, altered jars. So I've got several textures and I've already started uh, putting down from uh, the gold here. So all I'm doing is just taking it with my finger like so and going over the texture and I really hope you can see what I'm doing very very easy and as you can see it needs a really a small amount of material to make this and I'm really satisfied now of course as I said this is not the same quality as this I'm not trying to be but I think this is a very good alternative and now I've got uh, more colors and now let's see I'm going to try this green metallic here it doesn't uh, show much on the blue but so let's try something else just cleaning my finger and let's try for the silver that's better of course I can also continue with the gold here it doesn't have to be this whatever you want this is just here is the gold so you can see how it works I'm thinking that I can also melt a um, black and white uh, oil pastels and it should be really a uh, nice to uh, do highlights on texture I'm using the blue metallic uh, wax now just to see how it works and let's see the green I'll bring it closer to the camera so uh, in a minute so you can see what I've done and again gold here just so it will be more noticed now uh, if I haven't mentioned I covered here every everything with black gesso you don't have to have black gesso you can use white gesso and then paint whatever you want I just wanted to use try and use uh, the black gesso and I'm going in for uh, the green took a little bit too much and I'm going over all this texture I think it's really nice how it turned out moving to the blue just for it <laughs> so I'll have some uh, variations on my page now I don't know how it will be after 
because it's um, oil pastels I recommend that when you finish uh, if you are using it uh, then at the finish just a uh, spray a fixative on top of everything to be sure that it won't smear uh, if you don't have a fixative just use uh, whatever cheap hairspray that you can get your hands on it works the same and let's take silver now I'll just uh, finish going over the texture here and then I'll bring it closer to the camera Here we go. So here is all my texture on the black gesso, and here is all the check the texture picked up uh, on this acrylic paint, which I used uh, here a uh, ultramarine, and here was um, what was it? A burgundy wine and that's it very simple and I think this is a cheap solution and nice one and I really like it <laughs> so it uh, it paid off to do this and that's it I uh, now uh, this you can uh, if you think you are going to make more you can keep them I'm going to throw them away it's not something uh, I the amount that I have now here will last me for a lot of time so this is it that's my uh, how to make <laughs> gilding wax metallic wax or <laughs> uh, anything similar to that I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.